log yard. Logs are brought in on log trucks. We unload them and segregate them according to where they came from or log sizes. Um, we then remove the bark from the logs. Uh, they come in from the bush with the bark still on them. That bark goes off for landscaping use. Um, and the log is then ready to be sawn. And what we do is we laser scan each log. Um, that geometric profile is then run through some sophisticated software that allows us to um, best evaluate what we can cut out of every log. In the scanning process we measure all the attributes of the logs, its diameter, its length, the shape of the log, the three-dimensional uh, shape, what, what, how we're going to cut that log, and that's all stored in the computer which is then programmed into cut runs where we match the product from the all the natural variation within the logs to the market demand for, for sales in the next uh, month. We now actually have to cut it and that requires some complex sawing machinery. Um, for instance, our saws cut around the curve of the log, they don't just cut in a straight line. Once we've cut all of the boards, we then have to separate them into grades for drying. Uh, very high moisture content or very wet boards take longer to dry, so we separate them from the dry boards. They're then formed into timber racks um, and put into kilns for drying. The kilns use um, air circulation and heat. The drying process takes about 16 hours to take a board from freshly sawn to ready to turn into a finished product. We've installed the largest counterflow kiln. This is a new drying design. Hot dry timber coming out of the kiln is used to, uh, to recondition and precondition the green timber going into the kiln. Uh, what, what this has done is given us much more stability in our drying process. Uh, we have uh, a much better dried product and again this adds to the stability of the product and gives us a better product to service the customer with. After we've kiln dried the wood it's ready to turn into a finished product. So we load the racks up and separate the boards out one by one and we mould them to a finished size. After the timber is machined to size every piece is then checked for moisture content and then we grade it through a mechanical grading machine, do final visual checks to make sure that the, the visual attributes like knot sizes are within specification and then we do another piece of optimisation to make sure that we're getting the absolute best value out of every one of those pieces of timber. Final product quality control is a critical part of our process, particularly for structural products. Obviously that's very important because they're holding buildings up. As part of that process we take out of production uh, at least one board per thousand and we physically test that, that piece of timber to make sure that it's within limits. From there we have the ability to, to spray the termite treatment that they present to the stacker. The stacker simply puts them into a format for sales. We strap, wrap, place bearers to keep the product off the ground apply plastic and that product's pretty much ready for dispatch after that.